So today we're going to be going over the flash assists, or rather the best teams and the worst teams by flash assists per round in 2020 using the filters shown above, top 50, minimum max 100, these are the standard ones we're going to use for all the team overviews, and of course the information is courtesy of hltv.org. So flash assist per round is a bit of an interesting stat because you'd like to think for the most part that your flashes are effective in the way of getting an assist, but for the most part it's usually just controlling space or achieving space, right? Territorial advantage, that sort of thing. But we're going to actually highlight which teams do it the best when it comes to getting frags. So I mentioned in the utility damage video that Cloud9, they use flash assists or they use their flashes very, very well. So you can see here, 0 0.39 is the highest by a decent amount, that's more than 10% difference. They are well and truly above their peers in this situation. But you can see alternate attacks behind them, 100 Thieves, North, Vitality, Saw, Team Liquid, Big, Evil Genius and Gambit. So not much to separate these teams like this side here, but these two clearly have a separation between them. Cloud9, worth watching if you are looking to actually get better at getting flashes for your team, or potentially seeing how, how they do it, right? So next up is the bottom, so you can see, again, not much to separate these, but you can see some separate groupings, I guess. So Gods didn't find themselves stuck at the bottom, which is surprised they were near the top of the utility ADR, so I guess this means they prioritise doing damage over trying to assist each other with flashbangs. That could be an argument to be had. But otherwise we have Sprout, NIP, Namiga, Simon Gaming, Furia, Heretics, Dignitas, Triumph, and Spirit. So not too much of a surprise, really, but all in all, none of the teams that will if I remember correctly, Deacon's House were in the top 10 as well for utility damage. So this is a bit of a, again, same theory as Godsend. Now this is by CT side. So stereotypically you would say on the T side you'll probably use pop flashes a lot more on like a take, for example. On the CT side it's usually, okay, they just took top banana. Do you want to flash me in or retake it? That sort of thing. So on the CT side we still have Cloud9 and Alternate Attacks holding strong at the top. Still a decent gap between them, and then not much to talk about with these guys, but the number does drop, which means that on the T side, Cloud9 have an even higher figure. And now the bottom 10, so NIP and Godson hold strong at the bottom, a few area right behind them. Not much to talk about again, it's pretty much the same teams, in fact, that are here this time. I think there's one different, I don't think VP were in the previous one. But there isn't really too much to talk about other than the fact Godson are remaining at the bottom, I guess. And now by T side. So I did say the number of Cloud9 will rise and look at that. 0 0.45. So they get a flash assist. Nearly well, one in two more or less, let's say. Rounds. Like basically every other round they should get a flash assist. Which is bonkers, really, because as soon as you go down to the fifth highest on the list, it then goes one in three. And I imagine when you get to about 15th, 20th, it's then one in four. So you really need to watch out if you're if you're playing against that core. I believe they call Extra Salt now, right? The North American organization with JT and OC and Sonic and everything. You should watch out because their flash assists are, well, their flashes, I guess, are absolutely deadly. And then on the bottom ten, the God sent. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. They're just they're just bottom on every single category so far. So this is actually the Fun Plus Phoenix roster now when you think about it as well. So it's worth considering that. But overall, we don't see too much movement really. I mean, Sprout stay here, Namiga still here, NIP, things are Simon Gearing, Triumph, not surprising. And then Genji show, but you know, they're at the yeah, bottom 10, but they're right on the border of being at the same level as others. I imagine there's quite a few different teams in the same level here. But that's going to be it from this one. So overall, basically, the things to conclude from this video Cloud9, incredible to watch if you want to get better at doing flash assists or having setups which result in that. So thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this.